Good morning, it's Miss Amy today again, and we are going to start a new book. So that means we're going to start on chapter one, and we are reading Judy Moody, The Doctor Is In, book number five by Megan McDonald, and it says Emergency. And by now, we should all know that Judy really wants to be a doctor. So let's find out what's happening. In our last book, Judy predicts the future. She predicted that Mr. Todd was in love, and that was true. So let's find out what Judy Moody, the doctor, is in is all about. And we're going to start off with chapter one, which is a little short chapter, and it's called... MD equals a moody day. All of her chapters start with MD. So here goes. Plip. Judy Moody woke up. Drip, drip, drip. Went the rain off the roof. Plip, plip, plip. Went the drops on the window. Not again. It has been raining for seven days straight. Boring. She, Judy Moody, was sick and tired of the rain. Judy put her head under the pillow. If only she was sick. Being sick was the greatest. You got to stay home and drink pop for breakfast and eat toast cut in special strips and watch TV in your room. You got to read Cherry Ames, Student Nurse, Mysteries all day. And you get to eat yummy cherry cough drops. Hey, Maybe Cherry Ames was named after a cough drop. Judy took out her mom's old Cherry Ames book and popped a cough drop in her mouth anyways. Get up, lazy bones, said Stink, knocking on the door. Can't, Judy said. Too much rain. What? Never mind. Just go to school without me. Mom, Judy's skipping school, Stink yelled. Mom came into Judy's room. Judy, honey. What's wrong? I'm sick of the rain, she whispered to Mouse. Sick? What's wrong? What hurts? asked Mom. My head from one th for one thing. From all that noisy rain. You have a headache? Yes. And a sore throat. And a fever. And a stiff neck. That's from sleeping with a dictionary under your pillow, said Stink, to ace your spelling test. Is not is to she look see look my tongue's all red silly i think your tongue's supposed to be red judy stuck out her tongue cherry ames cough drop tongue at stink mom felt judy's head you don't seem to have a fever faker said stink come back in five minutes said judy I'll have a fever by then. Faker, 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 said Stink. If only she had the measles or chicken pops, chicken pox, or mumps. Mumps gave you a headache. Mumps gave you a stiff neck and a sore throat. Mumps made your cheeks stick out like Humpty Dumpty. Judy pushed the cough drop into her cheek and made a stick out Humpty Dumpty and made it stick out Humpty Dumpty style. Mumps, said Dr. Judy. I think I have the mumps for real. There's Judy's mom thinking, yeah, right. Hmm, I wonder if she's really sick. Mumps, said Stink. No way, you got a shot for that. No mumps shot. We both did, didn't we, mom? Yes, said Stink. Stink's right. Maybe one mump got through. Sounds like somebody doesn't want to go to school today, said Mom. Can I, can I stay home, Mom? I promise I'll be sick all day. Let's take your temperature, said Mom. She took the thermometer out of the case. Cat hair, said Mom. Is that cat hair on the thermometer? She's always making Mouse stick out her tongue and taking the cat's temperature said Stink. Mom shook her head and went to wash the thermometer off. When she came back, she took Judy's temperature. 
98.6, said Mom. Normal. Faker, fakey, not sick, big fat faker, said Stink. At least my temperature's normal, said Judy. Even if my brother isn't. Better get dressed, said Mom. Don't want to be late. Stink, you're a rat fink. Stink, rat, fink, moody. That's what I'll call you from now on. Well, you have to call me at school because you don't get to stay home. Judy stuck out her cherry red no mumps tongue at stink. She was down in the dumps. Ooh, I guess that means she's in a mood. Judy Moody in a mood? What? No way. She had a bad case of the grumps. The no mumps moody Monday blues. She, Judy Moody, felt like Mumpty Dumpty. Mumpty Dumpty without a temperature, that is. Uh, there's a picture of Mumpty Dumpty Judy Moody. There we go. And that, my friends, is the end of chapter one, which was called A Moody Day. I hope you enjoyed the first chapter of Judy Moody, The Doctor Is In. That's all we have for today. See you tomorrow.